I survived Ryanair. What bullsh shoes. I can't hear that wimpy whining anymore. We are flying Europe's biggest airline today and the most successful and the most infamous. The epitome of low cost carriers, Ryanair. Okay. I'm Chris. I've been crazy about planes since childhood. As an opera singer and also privately, I'm constantly on the go with way over a hundred detailed reports on my two channels. Everything here is about airlines, low cost, economy class, business class and first class, but also about hotels and exciting travel destinations worldwide on all continents with lots of tips, insider knowledge and above all, always honest. And today we're checking out how a trip on this low cost airline can get nice. Most of you only know my reports about flights in business and first class and how I enthusiastically talk about wines, lounges and menus with 15 courses and I also eat everything. And here comes the next scandal. I've been flying Ryanair for at least 20 years and I still like it. And those who haven't clicked away yet can now expect a top class report and that's one about flying low cost. Because flying Ryanair doesn't mean that you have to push the plane by hand. You can also fly Ryanair comfortably with a few small extra steps and today many premium airlines in Europe are not different from that. So sit back and enjoy this report. The only thing that's free of charge in this video. Have fun watching. The first step to stress-free travel with Ryanair is to be clear about your luggage. As with many other airlines, you pay extra for luggage and a laptop or a small handbag is free. Hand luggage up to 10 kilograms costs extra. The next step is to get quickly through the security check and with Ryanair you can book that at over 60 airports. In Vienna it's just 9 euros extra, little money for more relaxation and in Vienna the fast track is even free with a German or Austrian Amex Platinum card. Now let's go to the lounge and in Vienna that's the great new Vienna lounge. But I see some of you wondering now, how does this guy get into the lounge with Ryanair? Well, that's more and more possible also at European airports without a business class ticket. You can just buy access into independent airport lounges and that's between 25 and 50 euros. And the money is then invested in relaxation, wine and apple strudel. However, the Vienna lounge is at the top end of the price scale at 49. Euros. If you have a priority pass, you can get in here for less or for free depending on your membership level and the lounge offers plenty of space, a relaxation area with loungers and books, a small children's playroom, showers and lots of coffee and strudel, wines and a not overly fancy but good cold and warm buffet. And then there's a nice terrace with a view of the tarmac and many planes. Now I see already uh, flying with Ryanair doesn't necessarily mean that it's a low cost feeding or low class feeding or whatever, however you want to call that. You just need to do the right steps and it's going to be a just a nice flight. Just here in the beginning you can uh, buy access to the fast track security lane and also uh, you can buy access to the lounge. Of course if you're an um, um, American Express Platinum owner in Germany and also you have free access to the security fast lane and also access to the lounge here because the free priority pass is included in the American Express Platinum card. Otherwise you can also just buy access. Of course luggage is not included that you have to buy extra but other than that it's just a very nice comfortable um, feeling and um, comfort that you have before your flight if you just do the right steps. The lounge has some really nice corners but one specialty nobody noticed. There's original lithographs by Viennese expressionist Egon Schiele, one of my most admired artists. They're currently hanging in the lounge and I saw they're alone by Vienna's Leopold Museum. So impressive but nobody stops and looks. I can only guess they're all distracted by that strudel and Kaiser Schmarrn. It's so impressive how well the cakes here taste has nothing to do with lounge quality but this has only to do with really good Viennese cafe house quality coffee house quality and I mean they're famous for their strudels and here they have a um, Tropfenstrudel which is kind of a 
what would I say, fresh cheese strudel, you cannot really say it because it's really topped and it's very special, the Austrian and apple strudel and they're both like in the best cafe houses of Vienna, really fantastic, like the cafe house Diglas or maybe Landmann, really fantastic quality, so impressive, and then also the coffees, sorry, then also the coffees are in the tradition of Austrian cafe houses. Really very nice, you get all the uh, specialties, the Viennese coffee specialties and um, also very good wines, red wines, white wines, all from Austria and also very good Austrian sparkling wine. Cheers! And here the beloved object of hate on so many social media posts is waiting for us safely behind bars, the Ryanair Boeing 737 that will fly us to Cologne. Our next cause of stress is already ticked off. If you have booked hand luggage, you're one of the first to be allowed on board. Priority boarding. I've flown Ryanair so many times in my life when I was a poor student to take singing lessons with some famous teacher or flying cheaply five hours to the Canary Islands for 15 euros and back in the days there was still free seating and people ran across the field to the plane. Golden times. Today the seats are allocated by the system or you reserve your seat before the flight which is of course subject to a fee just like with most airlines. But this trip is all about convenience so we've got a front row seat with more leg room for a reasonable price and more on that later. It's pretty easy of course, uh, there's only two groups, that's priority and non-priority. Of course there's no status members of Ryanair, so you just have to buy your priority or I mean priority boarding. Uh, but mostly it's also included in case you buy your hand luggage. Um, a small item is allowed for free, that's something like a laptop bag or a regular handbag. Everything else up to 10 kilograms is uh, checked. I mean a paid hand uh, luggage and um, that means you pay for your regular onboard luggage that's not a small handbag. Then you are in the priority lane because mostly that's combined with the priority lane for boarding not for uh, security uh, so you can just board as one of the first passengers then you sit and that's that. Of course you don't get sparkling wine the juices or anything else as a welcome drink there's no welcome drink there's just sitting down but that's how it is low cost if you like this and the well over 100 flight and travel reports on the two traversing flight channels then please give me a thumbs up comment on the video and subscribe to the channel with the little bell next to it to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the exciting videos that are released here you'll help the channel with all its free content to grow and become more visible keep looking around traversing fly there's for sure a few more reports that are just the right ones for you it's so great to have you here Sitting in the first row makes a real big difference. I mean, there you have really a lot of uh, space for your legs, a lot of leg room. If you're sitting on the left side, that's the first row, and there you, there's really unlimited leg room because there's no wall between the first row and where the um, flight attendants sit. There's just no wall. And then on the right side, it's the second row because the first row there's nothing there's no first row there's only a second row and then you have the bulkhead but still a lot of leg room so that's really nice <laughs> couple of rows are priority rows because of the first couple of rows so you pay a little more than regular seats and then of course you have the exit rows there again at a higher surcharge and the other ones are just regular seats and of course 
um, if you don't choose a seat, they just assign you a seat. That's how it works. first row of course does not include anything else but the seat itself um, there's no extra drinks included and also you won't get water here for free like uh, you would get on most uh, regular airlines um, you just have to pay for everything but that's how it is on low cost on board however you can choose from a fairly wide range of snacks and drinks that are not overpriced so there's no need to buy anything beforehand at the airport and there's also onboard shopping Ryanair seats don't recline nor do they have a magazine compartment so you cannot put something there and neither can you lean back. A huge contrast to a great European business class just like here. So now I'm gonna show you the amazing functions of this seat. That's it. More and more airlines charge money for seat reservations now, even in expensive business class. And just a seat reservation can cost more than the whole flight with Ryanair. So we better spend some of that money for a lucky draw. And we are descending down into Cologne and I have to open the window blinds in a moment now finally I'm on this Ryanair flight and Ryanair report how was it well of course it's a low-cost airline but it doesn't mean that it's low cost or cheap it can be very expensive at times if you're not lucky and also you if you do the right steps it can be a nice experience you can buy a fast lane for security you can buy lounge access and if you have a platinum card of american express you have in vienna you have that already included and then on board i mean the plane is very similar to all the other small planes of other european airlines um, you have a normal cabin, normal seats, they're not special, but they're also not special on, on the other airlines. You have a lot of uh, leg room for your legs in the front seats. Then it's not less or more dirty than in other planes. The bathrooms were just fine, just in any other airline too. Also here the cabin itself was just fine, not super dirty, not super clean of course, but they just like the other airlines too. So I think it's just nonsense to say oh i don't fly Ryanair because it's so low cost oh all those stupid headlines that say i survived Ryanair i find nothing more stupid than that because i mean how much have to be have, do you have to be up there to say oh i survived Ryanair it's just very stupid and they're arrogant i would say um, i like flying Ryanair you get what you pay for most of your luggage is there and it's a normal flight. You have no entertainment, just like on any other airline in Europe. And mostly, you also don't get free food on the other airlines. Let's be honest, in economy class. So, altogether, a good experience. I would say I like flying Ryanair, not at a high cost, but at a regular or low cost. It's just fine. Here we are in Cologne by the Rhine River. If you enjoyed the report, give me a thumbs up. That's for free. And subscribing to the channel is also free. And you don't want to miss out on this very contrasting video here. So watch it right away. It's really worth it. See you over there at Travel Sing Fly. Yeah.